Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, for those of you out there who played various Metroid games in the past, you know that Samus is a silent protagonist. She barely speaks in any of the games that she's featured in other than Metroid Other M. It's really the only game in the Metroid series where Samus has a lot of voice acting going on and Samus actually speaks throughout the entire game. But within Metroid Dread, Samus is back to being the silent bounty hunter that we all know and love. Now, with that in mind, in a brand new interview with GameSpot.com, longtime Metroid series producer Yoshio Sakamoto explained the real reasons why Samus is mostly silent within Metroid Dread, and he also gave us some details on other characters as well. As you can see here, this is what was said. Why go back to having Samus as a mostly silent protagonist? She doesn't have her Metroid Fusion elevator thoughts or other M monologues anymore. In this game, Samus barely speaks. The reason that I wanted to make it that way is the main theme of this game, which is Dread. I felt that to convey the current situation of Samus or what Samus is thinking right now, this would be better conveyed to the player not through actual words or actual voice, but more with acting or visuals. I want the player to think, what is going on? What is Samus feeling right now? That is why I decided to go this way for the game. And here's the final question. Why did you want Adam to have a voice in Dread after being a silent text-based computer in Fusion? He and Samus aren't the only ones to talk either. There's actually quite a bit of voice acting in the game. Well, there really isn't any deep meaning for using voice. Of course, there are scenes where it is just easier to convey the message if there are voices. And of course, another thing is the atmosphere of the game and the atmosphere of the scene. For certain scenes, it feels better and is more understandable if the player does not read the text but instead hears the voices. And of course, one other thing is that in old games, it was technically impossible or the cartridge size limitation made it very difficult to use the voices. But nowadays, it's totally possible. There are many aspects related to this topic, but as one form of presentation, I feel that voices can be used to smoothly convey the messaging of the game to the player. That is one reason why I decided to have voices for Metroid Dread. So, as you can see here, Yoshio Sakamoto gave some really good reasons as to why there's barely any voice acting within Metroid Dread, and for those of you who've played the game already, you know that the game speaks for itself. With all of the exploration and the, all the action that's going on within this game, there's really no need to have a lot of voice acting because, like he said, he wanted to convey this message with the theme of the game, which is Dread. So, when you play this game, you're actually in tune with the atmosphere of this game. And this is done with the different sound effects within the game, the music of the game, and the action. So, in my opinion, it's great that there's barely any voice acting in the game because if it was, it probably would take away from the general theme of what's going on here. Now, for those of you who haven't purchased Metroid Dread but you plan to do so, check out the affiliate link down in the description box below to bestbuy.com. If you purchase this game through this link, I will receive a small commission which goes directly to supporting this channel, so consider doing so if you are interested. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. The cost is only 99 cents per month and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock, where here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.